the name Gautam Adani has been creating headlines for quite some time. In Kerala, the name first popped with regard to the Virinyam port. Now, he is being noticed not for ports but airports. Having begun his Ahmedabad-based venture at the age of 32 in 1988, Adani gradually made his way to the Forbes richest people list next to Mukesh Ambani. Although Adani Enterprises Limited started off as a commodity trading business, today the group has a presence in numerous areas such as energy, resources, logistics, agribusiness, real estate, financial services, defense, and aerospace. They bring out the edible oil brand Fortune in collaboration with the Singapore based Wilmar International Private Limited. The Tiroda Thermal Power Station in Maharashtra, with a capacity of 660 megawatts, has made Adani the largest power producer in the country. Adani Green Energy recently won the contract for the world's largest solar power project. The 8 gigawatt solar plant construction project is expected to be completed in five years. Not just them, the group has mines in India, Indonesia and Australia and exports coal to Bangladesh, China and Southeast Asia. The list of ventures and business empires of Adani goes on. Adani Group is the largest port developer and operator in India. It is responsible for 10 ports including the Mundra port in Gujarat. Right now, there is no one to beat the group in the aviation sector. Adani Enterprises Limited has acquired six airports. With the recent acquisition of 74% in Mumbai Airport, the second largest airport in the country, the group has become the largest private operator in the aviation sector. According to experts, India's airport retail market is expected to grow by US dollar 9.3 billion by 2030. The real estate potential of airport operators is estimated at $1.6 billion. When it comes to the acquisition of the Tiruvananthapuram Airport, the purpose of the 50-year lease is to carry out the operation, management and development of the airport in a public-private partnership model. The lease stipulates that the highest revenue per passenger will be shared with the Airports Authority of India. Ownership of the airport and land, responsibilities of air traffic control, security, customs and immigration are all vested in various government agencies. In short, it is an operational contract. The main areas of revenue associated with the airport are aeronautical revenues such as land fees, user development fees, cargo and ground handling, parking and housing fees, aircraft fueling and non-aeronautical revenues such as duty-free shops, retail licenses, food and beverage, advertising, space rentals, car parking and airport-related land development. Adani Enterprises Limited's policy is to generate more revenue from the non-aeronautical revenue sectors. When Adani Group, which has experience in airport operations, takes over the Tiruvananthapuram Airport, the face of the airport itself may change. International standards in operation and maintenance will attract passengers, including foreigners. Commuters can avail world-class facilities. Passengers expect airport terminals to be clean and luggage handling hassle-free. The Ahmedabad Airport, taken over by Adani, is cited as an example of this. Efforts will be made to use new technologies for infrastructure development and increasing labor productivity. The group had requested time for acquisition as the aviation sector is reeling under COVID. The acquisition is expected to get over by November.